Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Medic. This is Sean Halsman, Paramedic and Education Guy, and today this is a quick video going over the salad technique, which is an intubation attempt when you have large amounts of stuff in the way. Uh, I did not create this. You've seen this probably on the internet before. This was created by Dr. Jim DeCanto, who is an anesthesiologist, and uh, the salad stands for Suction Assisted Laryngoscopy Airway Decontamination. It's really just a procedure for which you can uh, go to when your airway is full of stuff. So we've all all these situations where you have copious amounts of emesis in your cardiac arrest patients or maybe just drinking too much uh, and that can get in the way obviously if you're visualizing the cords. Uh, the arc side of this is a traumatic injury where there's a lot of blood that keeps entering the airway uh, and this technique is used for patients who uh, continuously are dumping stuff into the airway. Obviously we're going to need our suction unit. Make sure your battery is charged and your stuff is there with it. Uh, you're going to need the rigid suction catheter and pay special attention to this hole here. Uh, Ducanto catheters don't have this hole uh, but many of the ones in the market do. Other catheters have this hole and it has to be covered in order to uh, maintain suction. You need your other hand so you're going to have to cover that with a piece of tape uh, or some other thing to uh, actually keep your suction running when you are going into the hands-free mode with this technique. Uh, you also obviously need your uh, allergoscope and your airway kit. So uh, what you're going to see here is uh, paramedic Dominic Wallenzak who's just realized that his patient's mouth is full of vomit. It's not really vomit, it's uh, colored water that I uh, put together on this old mannequin here. But uh, you're going to see Dominic engage in this technique and basically the process is this. Uh, you're going to enter the airway with the rigid suction catheter. Uh, you're going to ready your laryngoscope blade and then uh, Dominic's going to do a little bit of a different uh, type of procedure here, but he's going to use his left hand to hold both the catheter and the laryngoscope uh, until he can visualize down to the bottom of the airway. Eventually what happens is that stiff catheter goes right into the esophagus once you're able to visualize the esophagus and then and any further emesis that comes up is immediately caught before it has the opportunity to get in front of you. So uh, there's three things going on at once and your placement of the rigid suction catheter into the esophagus uh, just keeps some of that copious amount of emesis at bay and we see that Dominic was successful in visualizing and getting a tube in this situation. The next thing we're going to see is paramedic Rob Daly who is going to have a similar problem. We've all had uh, this occur. Uh, not good stuff there. We, you know, the vomit's coming out of the nose, the mouth, and everything else, and we have to get that airway clear. So uh, Rob is, as Dominic did, going to use the salad technique and establish a good amount of suction into the airway there. Uh, and then Rob is actually going to do more of the standard procedure where he's going to move the suction catheter over to the left side of the mouth uh, and keep it in the esophagus while he visualizes the cords and places his tube. So uh, this is a great technique. Uh, it's going to allow you to uh, keep the airway clear while you're trying to intubate, especially when you have emesis or blood that keeps coming in the way. Uh, important to obviously have your stuff with you at all times when you're doing an intubation, uh, any kind of advanced airway, you want to make sure you're suction there. Thanks for watching. This is Sean Holzman again. Uh, my contact information is shalsman at tcaems.com. Please feel free to uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions or uh, thoughts about this. And if you're a Twin City employee, uh, stop in any time and you can use the mannequin to practice this technique. Be safe out there.